Today is March 9th, 2021. Today is day one. Okay, I am on day one of NoFap. And today is March 9th, 2022, and I am officially on one year of NoFap. Now, I originally had this list of notes that I wanted to read from, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off the dome. Okay, I wanna speak from the heart with this one because NoFap has truly, genuinely changed my life. Not only has it changed my life in terms of my surroundings, but it's changed me as a person. It's brought out the best in me. Now, NoFap has changed my life in ways that are hard to quantify. Yes, NoFap has helped my channel grow, which has helped me move out into my own place and live a generally happier lifestyle, a better, higher quality of life, but it's changed me as a person, which has allowed me to enjoy that higher quality of life much more genuinely. And the first way that has done that is by giving me a higher self-perception. Okay, when you know that you don't have any skeletons in the closet, you have nothing to hide from anyone because you've put all of your information out there on the internet for everyone to hear. That right there will allow you to transcend any insecurities that you have. Me exposing myself in the way that I have by making these NoFap videos has really allowed me to become comfortable with who I am as a person, with my flaws, with my insecurities. Once you learn to overcome and accept your insecurities, they cease to exist. They start to dissipate, they start to disappear. Okay, you wonder, why was I ever insecure about that in the first place? Why was I scared to make that 30 day no fat benefits video back in May of 2020? From where I stand now, there was no reason to ever be afraid. But that's because me doing no fap and me sharing, me documenting my journey has helped me to see things for what they really are. Okay, I've realized that in becoming the best version of yourself, you're going to have to learn to disregard the opinions of other people. Okay, and there are going to be people who think that you're weird for doing nofap, who think that you're weird for making nofap videos or talking about nofap. You're going to have to learn to disregard the opinions of those people. Okay, you have to really think about it. People are calling you weird for not beating your meat. It's not my place to judge them. We're all at different points on our journeys. Some people aren't even on their self-development journey and that's okay. But one thing that I have noticed is that in order to sustain your nofap journey, to sustain your progress on nofap, in spite of people talking down on you, looking down on you, you're going to have to develop discipline. Okay, now what is discipline, truly? You hear all of us self-development YouTubers talk about discipline, but what is it? What does it entail? Discipline is the act of setting boundaries with yourself and then honoring those boundaries. It is you telling yourself that no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone tries to pressure me into doing, I'm going to stay on course and do what I know is right for me and my future self. And NoFap will give you an abundance of discipline. It instills a certain type of discipline that I believe can only be developed by doing something like NoFap, by partaking in a practice of abstaining from pornography and masturbation. When these things are easily accessible to you, more accessible than ever. You're watching this on some type of technological device, which means that you do have access to pornography. You can watch it at any time that you want. You're probably in the room alone watching this. Okay, but instead of watching pornography, you're choosing to watch this video right here about NoFap because you care about yourself. Like I said, you develop a higher self-perception. Okay, and the beautiful thing about discipline and this higher self-perception is that they feed into each other. The higher self-perception you have, the more discipline you have. And the more discipline you have, the higher of a self-perception that you have, and so on and so forth. You generate momentum. It's a snowball effect. And that's why, even though NoFap doesn't get easier by any means, which I'll get into that in a second, you get mentally stronger. The further I go on NoFap, the lower my chance of relapsing gets. For one, because I know that I would hate to throw away all of my progress, but also because the mental fortitude that I've developed by forgiving myself for not being on NoFap in the past has allowed me to transcend any of my lustful ways. It's allowed me to transcend the desire for instant gratification. The desire will always be there. Okay, that is one thing that I've learned with absolute certainty is that no matter how far you get on this nofap journey or even semen retention, if you choose to do that, you will always have those urges. You will always have that lust within you. But deep down, you know that that exchange, that transaction is not worth it, which is why usually after beating your meat, after relapsing, you feel bad. You feel bad about yourself. 
But like I've said in the past, you have to learn to forgive yourself if you want to make it on this nofap journey, if you want to turn it into a lifestyle. You see, I think a lot of people, they try to use motivation to stay true to their nofap journeys, but that doesn't work. It's not sustainable. Telling yourself that you're a loser and you need to be better is not going to get you anywhere. It might get you to 90 days or six months or even a year, but eventually, because you have that subconscious dialogue, that inner dialogue of you calling yourself a loser through your own voice or through somebody else's voice, you are going to fulfill that inner prophecy by relapsing. This is why I've said that I'm not going to relapse. It's borderline impossible for me to relapse. Now, yes, I could relapse, but I'm not going to because I know within my subconscious mind, within my heart, within my soul, that I'm better than that now. I don't do that anymore. That's not a part of who I am. My mind doesn't go there anymore. It doesn't think to do that even when the urges hit because I've transcended that through the power of self-forgiveness. And that's what NoFap is all about. NoFap isn't about killing your old self. It's about forgiving and loving your old self and transcending your old self in that way. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Okay, that's my favorite quote by Martin Luther King Jr. You have to learn to love the parts of yourself that you believe are unlovable if you want to make it on this nofap journey. And I'm speaking from experience with that. When I relapsed in the past, when I quit nofap after nine months back in January of 2021, I quit nofap. I didn't relapse. I consciously made a decision to quit. Now, you could argue that the end result was the same because it was, but I would liken it to the difference between dropping out of school and flunking out of school. Okay, I dropped out of college. I didn't flunk out of college. I had all A's and one B in college, but I still dropped out. Okay, I didn't flunk out. It was by choice. I had the power in that decision because I loved myself enough to forgive myself. And even once I fell back into that cycle of doing it on a regular basis, I was quickly able to acknowledge that I was going down a very slippery slope and that I should probably pull myself back up by taking up NoFap. And I made that decision March 9th, 2021, one year ago today. Okay, and it was one of the best decisions that I could have ever made for myself. Now, I don't remember exactly how many subscribers I had at the time or anything like that, but I do know that if you go back and watch the video, you'll see that it was filmed in my parents' house, okay, my childhood bedroom. I was definitely not as confident as I am now. I wasn't as articulate as I am now. And I just generally wasn't at peace with myself. I didn't have the relationship that I have with myself now back then. Okay, and this is something that I've only been able to develop through practices like NoFap. Now, NoFap is not the only self-development practice that has helped me elevate myself in my life, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely been an integral part in my self-development journey. It's a practice that I would recommend everyone partake in. You have nothing to lose by doing NoFap, nothing to lose at all. Okay, I've been doing it for one year and I can't imagine, I can't fathom the idea of going back to March 8th, 2021 where I wasn't on NoFap because I love myself too much to put myself back in that space. And even if for whatever reason I decided to quit NoFap, I would still love myself. And that's the essence of the NoFap journey is learning to love yourself unconditionally. It's not about transforming your life because you hate yourself. It's about transforming your life because you love yourself and you know that you deserve better.